Hi, my name is Sarah Zuber and I'm a mental health therapist with Verve Counseling in Portland, Oregon. I'm back again today to share another strategy for managing anxiety and mood in these uncertain times. And today's tool is called, it's a skill, it's called uh, Radical Acceptance. And this is based on the work of Marsha Linehan, who is the founder and um, the founder of dialectical behavior therapy, which is a set of skills to help us in several domains, mindfulness, distress tolerance, emotion regulation, interpersonal skills. But today we're talking about radical acceptance, and this is a distress tolerance skill. So um, very handy when we're in a situation that we either can't change or are choosing not to change right now. How do we tolerate the distress of that and um, manage our manage our emotions. So I'm gonna share a slide with you that illustrates this concept. All right, here we go. So, um, Marcia says, in life, pain is inevitable. We all experience pain, it's unavoidable. Um, when we layer resistance onto the pain, that is what creates suffering. Pain plus resistance equals suffering. So resistance is, looks like, um, here's some thoughts that we might have that are resistance thoughts. Woe is me, it shouldn't be this way. We should be starting to open things back up again. This is going on way too long. Um, she should be wearing a mask. I can't believe she's not wearing a mask. I should be able to get a delivery time for groceries sooner than five days out. These are resistance thoughts, meaning, um, you know, this is a situation where we, there are a lot of pieces that we don't have control over. Grocery delivery times, what other people are doing, uh, wearing masks or not wearing masks, what the government is doing with the stay at home order, what the governor is doing. Um, it shouldn't be this way. We don't have control over that. So um, radical acceptance is taking on an attitude of willingness versus willfulness. So if we take on an uh, uh, attitude of uh, radical acceptance, we decrease our suffering in an already painful situation. We just turn down the volume so it's not as bad as it could be. So if you notice, you know, tensing up and those resistance thoughts, practice radical acceptance. Um, uh, the physical manifestation is sitting with open arms. And remember that you don't have to agree, you don't have to approve, you are merely accepting what already is, the reality that already is. You're letting go of what you wish for and want and accepting what is. It's a, it's a reminder of letting go and you, you don't do it just once, you have to do it over and over again. And remember that attitude of willingness instead of willfulness. So radical acceptance is so helpful um, in, in situations where it's awful, but we can't change it, at least not in this moment, or we're, for whatever reason we're choosing not to. If you can choose, change it and you want to change it, go ahead. But in those situations where you either can't or don't want to, radical acceptance will help you tolerate the distress of that situation. Um, I'm going to link a video also from um, John Kabat-Zinn, who is the founder of Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction, another therapy. He has a concept called letting go, and it's really similar, I think, to this. And I'm going to link it in the description to this video. And if you're interested in, in going through a little guided, um, uh, explanation of letting go that is I find dovetails really nicely with this concept but okay so practice radical acceptance notice when you're having resistance thoughts and focus on making the choice of radically accepting what is all right take care everyone